Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Infinite Omega with me, Black Deatha, coming at you today with another video for Hitman 3 of the brand new elusive target number 5, the Iconoclast. So without further ado, let's jump in and check it out. Good morning, 47. Your target is Joanne Bayswater, a rogue assassin banished by, how shall I put it, one of our competing agencies. For many years, she was one of their top operatives. However, her self-confidence led to arrogance, putting civilians' lives at risk. Her handler, believing she was becoming a hazard, brought it up with the board. Miss Bayswater did not take well to this betrayal and went out of her way to seek revenge on the one she felt had stabbed her in the back. Now she has broken free and set up her own business as a final insult to our client, destroying the natural order. They have made multiple attempts to get rid of her, but she is always one step ahead. And this is why they have turned to us. They might be too proud to admit it, but they need the best. One does not defy the gods without consequences. Good luck, 47. So, as Diana just mentioned in the briefing, our target today is one Joanne Bayswater, a fellow assassin who, sadly for her, we are going to be assassinating. And to do so, we really don't need to bring along much, just make sure you bring along a silenced pistol. The rest of the equipment really doesn't matter, so let's jump on in and do this. And just a quick refresher on elusive targets, they're a limited time available, one shot only mission type. Once you've killed your target, you do not get to restart, and if you do happen to get yourself killed, it will be mission failed and you don't get to play again. Now, hopefully you will find this video helpful or enjoyable or both. If you do, please go ahead and leave a like down below as well as consider subscribing to the channel as your support really does help out a lot. Good evening, 47. Now, as soon as the mission begins, Welcome you want to go ahead and our... skip the intro cutscene. We're just going to make our way around to the left here around this little circular garden area, and we will find an invitation sitting right on the ledge there. Once we've got the invitation, we're going to want to make our way over to the entrance to the party. Unfortunately, and we're just going to present the invitation to this guy here. For you. So you will Once he reaches his hand out, give him the invitation. Now we can just head down the stairs towards the dance area. Is a professional. She knows that Ming. Cutting across the dance floor, we're just going to head over to these stairs here and head on up. Continuing up these stairs will bring us to the upper level of the party. Now we just need to cut across this area. We do want to be somewhat quick in getting to our destination because the target will be uh, heading there as well. Let's just weave through these people here. Now, just up ahead here by the railing, this is our target. She will just be turning around and making her way towards the party. As she does, we just want to make our way over here near this faucet. And once she gets to about this area, we just want to turn the faucet on. One of the best. Now I'm just going to head over this way. This guy was standing right in the sprinkler, so he's going to be irritated and go to investigate. Now take cover behind this bit of wall here, have your pistol at the ready. The target will be approaching the puddle, and we can shoot this light and fry her ass for an easy electrocution kill. The money is being wired to your account, 47. Now head towards an exit. So, like Diana said, we just want to now make our way towards an exit. There is a slightly more streamlined path to getting to one of the exits right near where we kill the target by going down the stairs. Unfortunately, her guard was in the way and suspicious, so I figured just to be safer, we'd take the long way around. You want to continue along the lower level of the party until you get to this stairwell at the far end. Using these stairs will allow us to reach the lowest level. Once we reach the bottom here, we're just doing a quick 180 and heading over to this railing. Once we hop the railing, we'll be in the garden area. We're going to use this garden as a nice bit of cover as we make our way towards the exit. Arguably, this map doesn't have the most convenient exits, as uh, this is a trespassing area, so you do want to be mindful to make sure that you're not getting spotted by any guards or anything. But once the way is clear, you just want to go through this gate here, and you're home free. So of course we'll unlock some challenges for having completed the elusive target. And that has been the mission completed, Silent Assassin, as well as Suit Only, with a time of 3 minutes and 19 seconds. Not too bad at all. And if this is your fifth elusive target completed with the Silent Assassin rating, you will also unlock the Witcher Suit. So there you have it, that's been a very simple and easy Silent Assassin Suit Only method of killing elusive target number 5, the Iconoclast. So, maybe this video was helpful for you, possibly you even enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and leave a like down below as well as comment on the video, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel for more great content in the future. 
for now, though, this is Infinite Omega. I've been Black Death, and this has been Elusive Target number five. Kill the silent assassin pseudo only by frying the bitch. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. You guys have yourselves an amazing day. Goodbye.